Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer. So if you're a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Cancer, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. You guys could be on a break from each other, trying to detoxify, trying to take care of yourself. Especially you, whoever the feminine energy is in this uh, connection, they are really trying to take care of themselves. There is a definite soulmate energy between the both of you. There's a lot of love, but there's a groundedness, groundedness that's needed here. Or whoever this person is, they might be their heart chakra is very, very blocked. They are stalking you right now. They are loving you from distance. They, of course, me miss you and they feel this need to connect with you. But you could have been the one who took a break from this connection because you needed to detoxify and focus on yourself. Needed to show yourself some love. But there is love. This person does love you. There could be some past hurt this person has. Some childhood trauma, something happened in the previous relationships, which is why they do have unhealed wounds. And this unhealed wounds is the reason this person is keeping their distance or this unhealed past traumas is the reason their heart chakra is very, very, very blocked. But this is, I get this very king of cups kind of energy from this person where they do have feelings for you, but those feelings are so very deep seated that they would much rather not express it. This person could have fear of rejection, fear of getting hurt or fearing of past cycles, past connections repeating with you. Yeah, this person uh, with this card here, they have trust issues. They have trust issues. Whatever the past connections this person had, it really made them feel very, very caged. It could have been toxic connections this person was in. And that is why they didn't feel the freedom to be themselves in the past connection, which is why love scares this person. Whatever past traumas this person has, they haven't fully forgiven those. And that is why they are still stuck in that. This person would also feel like they need some time alone. The nine of pentacles energy of I am good alone, I'm good single. So even if they do have emotions, they do have feelings for you, they are trying to ignore it. They are trying to just take care of themselves here. There is a bit of a selfish energy from this person, but they do have love for you. This person also could be someone who's very uh, jealous nature. This jealousy might be a bit hidden, so they don't express it. They don't exactly show it, but they do have jealousy. Okay, let's see. You could be dealing with a Taurus here. The Hierophant card, I saw it almost three or four times while shuffling the cards. Yeah. Queen of Swords. They're trying to act all detached and cold. They're trying to run away from the emotions. This person definitely has a habit of running away from the emotions. Relationships feel like a burden to them because of their past traumas or past experiences. They feel like relationships are not their cup of tea. But at the same time, because they do have feelings for you, they are stuck in between. They want a connection with you. They want to be with you. That is why they are stalking you. They are very possessive about you too. But at the same time, they, this person is trying to be in this queen of swords energy of cold, remaining detached, being more logical, coming from a place of logic rather than a place of emotions.
Yeah, the lover's card. Choice. This person has to make a choice. They also could see you as this very beautiful soulmate connection. This person needs to balance themselves out. They have to learn to balance both of these sides of them wanting a connection but at the same time running away from that. You could be dealing with a Gemini here. But yeah, this person is very stuck. They feel almost stuck and bound to this toxic past that they have. There's some healing this person needs to do when it comes to their past. This is also the kind of person who I feel they don't talk about the past a lot. They try to avoid it. Because they haven't managed to heal it. Needing to see the truth. They have to see the truth here. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups tried coming out in reverse. So as I said, self-love. Self-love was the first card here. This person is a bit selfish at the same time. They don't know how to take care of themselves. They don't know how to show love to themselves. This is the kind of person who is very disconnected from their feminine side. They are very disconnected from their heart. So however, whichever way they take care of themselves, it just ends up being very, very selfish. This person might come off as someone who takes advantage of other people. Yeah, as I said, they could be involved in a lot of partying, drinking. And that is because they want to get out of their head. The way they want, they are, they need to see the truth here. The Ace of Swords, they need to see the truth. They need to get the clarity. But the way this person is trying to distract themselves is by drinking, having fun, being a bit selfish, doing whatever they feel like. This person is right now in a toxic mind space. They want a commitment, they want a happily ever after, they want a relationship, they want marriage. But at the same time, they are scared of connections, they are scared of bonding with someone, they are scared of opening their heart up because of the past connections, because of the past traumas and woundings. The High Priestess tribe coming out in reverse, so this person is very very disconnected. From their, as I said, disconnected from their feminine side, disconnected from their intuition. This person is definitely not listening to their intuition. Because our intuition does show us the way. Also, if there is silence between the both of you right now, this person wants to break the silence. They want to reconnect with you. They feel this need, this desire to connect with you because they have a strong bond with you. They are in love with you. The intentions of this person isn't impure. This person does have pure intentions, but the problem is they haven't faced their past. And that is why whatever issues has come up in this connection and whatever reason this connection didn't work out was because of this person's past. They couldn't handle it. They couldn't deal with it. They avoid and run away from it. Also, this person needs to take care of themselves. They definitely don't know how to take care of themselves. It is very possible that because this person didn't know how to balance themselves, how to, how to be in a commitment. They were avoiding commitment. They were in love with you, but they still kept running away. You you detached yourself from this connection and started focusing on yourself, started for taking care of yourself. You could be dealing with a Pisces here. Another water sign like you. The Hermit. Yeah, there's definitely silence between the both of you right now. But again, the Hermit tried coming out in reverse. The universe could be forcing this person right now to go 
go inside and look at themselves but this person is avoiding that as as much as they can they need to find some answers they need to look for some answers they need to get the clarity this is the kind of person who would much rather be stuck in their head than get the clarity because getting the clarity means facing their demons they would much rather be stuck and have fun and drink and distract themselves with work or other people rather than facing their demons you could be dealing with a virgo here yeah chariot and king of wands the king of wands is that kind of energy who who keeps doing doing and doing running after the things they want Again, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. This is a match here with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, as I said, you could have cut this person out because they were not able to face themselves, because they were not seeing the truth. They were all over the place. And that is why you decided to cut this person out. There's a very cold, detached energy you both are in. You are focusing on taking care of yourself. The king and queen of swords, you can't bullshit them. You can't play with them. So if you are in this king of swords energy or if you're in this queen of swords energy, whatever, the king or queen of swords energy, whatever energy you are in, you are very cold and detached right now. You're taking care of yourself. You are done with this person's bullshit. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups here. So there are feelings. Nine of Cups, King of Cups. As I said at the beginning of reading, I am getting a very King of Cups kind of energy here. They don't express it. They have feelings for you. The King of Cups is very emotional. You could be dealing with another water sign here. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Although they are emotional, they don't know how to show their emotions. They are very distant. They are, this person is almost disconnected from their own emotions, which is causing this problem. They would much rather be in this King of Swords energy than be in this King of Cups energy. They do have a lot of insecurities. The moon was at the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they want happiness. They want wish fulfillment. Who doesn't? They want it too. And they see that possibility with you. This person is very, very committed to you. When it comes to their feelings, when it comes to like in their heart, they're very committed to you. But when it comes to expressing those, expressing that commitment, giving you that commitment, giving you that stability, this person really lacks it. The universe is literally giving them a cup here. The universe is literally handing them the ace of cups here. But they would much rather focus on these three cups. The universe is forcing this person to take a look at themselves. But they are still trying to avoid it. This person could be going through an awakening. Yeah, see the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. And the nine of pentacles as i said they would much rather be independent and free not do anything but they're still stalking you they still think about how to communicate with you this person could have tried playing mind games with you in the past and that is why you cut them off because because they don't know how to express themselves they would much rather manipulate people this person has a lot of unhealed traumas and wounds that they need to fix, that they need to work upon. Okay, wow. Ooh. 
Yeah, judgment. The universe is forcing them to see death. They are going through a transformation. The universe has almost forced them to go through a transformation here. Yeah, see defensiveness. The defensiveness when it comes to this lover's kind of connection. The nine of wands, the nine of pentacles. I would much rather be single and have my defenses up. The nine of cups, the nine of wands, the nine of pentacles. Nine, nine, nine here. This person is going through a transformation. They are completing cycles almost. And yeah, they are going through a transformation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, very, very heavy Scorpionic energy here. But as I said, the judgment is universe literally awakening someone. Forcing someone to wake up. They might also see you as someone you could have forced awakening in this person. You could have forced this person to take a look at themselves. They were the kind who would much rather avoid and run away. But you forced them to take a look at themselves. They could also see you as someone who's who right now is you know, has disconnected from this connection altogether. That is why they could be stalking you because they're scared that you have disconnected from this connection once and for all. They might also see you as someone who's getting a lot of attention from other people. The three of pentacles, the four of uh, swords. You're getting a lot of attention from other people. You are doing work well when it comes to your work. As I said, this, this person has some jealousy. They might not show it, but they definitely have it. And this is why this person could be stalking you because they're very, very jealous that you already have other people giving you attention. And you are entertaining other people. You are giving, you are also giving attention to other people. And that is what is making them more defensive. This person is stuck in a cycle of avoiding their issues and thereby being more stuck in it. So they want to come out of this whatever this nine of wands type of energy but at the same time because they are not working on themselves they are being more and more feeling stuck in this nine of wands energy of always feeling like the wounded warrior this person could also have some victim mentality Yeah, they don't want the world is in reverse. They don't want this connection to end. They don't want this cycle to end. Queen of Cups tried coming out in reverse, which is again trying not to face those emotions. Having King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Swords is definitely counterpart, counterpart kind of energy, divine counterparts kind of energy, both complementing each other. This person is holding on to you. They are holding on to you with their heart, but at the same time, they don't want to face their emotions. The Queen of Cups in reverse can also be a bit of emotionally manipulative this person is going to keep holding back from you for the time being yeah they will first need to balance themselves out bring some balance in their life lot of imbalance in this person's emotions their life and this imbalance there's this definitely imbalance when it comes to this person's emotions and first they need to work on that we 
page of pentacles they are thinking of coming out to you with an offer and that is why they are stalking you they don't want you to move on the death here but yeah king of pentacles they do want to build with you but first they need to bring stability in themselves this person will come to you with an offer not just right now it will take some time for this person and here we have the two of cups they love you they undoubtedly are in love with you and that is why they want to offer you this page of pentacles but if you are expecting an apology from this person it is going to take some time the page of cups is in reverse here yeah they need to get unstuck from their head first Empress, Four of Wands, Seven of Swords. Focus on your stability. Whatever is making you happy right now, keep working on that. Keep having that patience. and building yourself the empress is a very divine energy the empress also takes care of themselves the first card was self love you are taking care of yourself keep focusing on that keep balancing yourself keep taking care of yourself whatever happiness there is there could be a lot of happiness a lot of celebrations going on in your life with friends families keep working on that whatever sneaky energy is there around you or if this person comes in with this sneaky kind of seven of swords energy this manipulation manipulative kind of energy they can't fool the empress here the empress the queen of swords king of swords they can't fool you okay playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course have fun as i said have fun the embrace card also fell out through each other you find the missing pieces this person is really missing you they are thinking about you missing you okay let's see what we need to surrender right now what does cancer need to surrender you could be dealing with a uh, Taurus or Libra here too. What does Cancer need to surrender? Surrender to rest and sleep. to prevent burnout slow down honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind body and spirit yeah self love focus on yourself take care of yourself your mind body spirit that should be your priority right now all right cancer well that's your reading i hope you find the clarity you've been looking for i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye